Hello everyone, happy Monday afternoon. I am seven days down with seven days to go of my two week uh, vegan yoga retreat, otherwise known as two weeks mandatory hotel quarantine in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. I was just about to take out the dirty linen and towels and I just cleaned everything and I thought, you know what, I'm going to show you guys how I've set up my room for quarantine. I keep it pretty tidy and I've just done a big clean and changed all the sheets and the towels so I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good, I just had a flower delivery and I am going to show you how I'm living my little setup. This should be a pretty quick video but you guys know I can talk for a long time. Before I take out the towels and the linen, one question that you guys keep asking that I wanted to address and that is who is paying for this two week quarantine? me. It's my choice to come home. It's really tricky to get to Australia at the moment. One of the conditions, any international rivals, unless you have like a really special exemption, which is pretty much impossible to get, international arrivals have to quarantine for two weeks in a government organized hotel. That's why I'm here. Obviously, you guys have seen I'm very, very lucky um, with the hotel I've been given. The balcony, everything is just fantastic. I'm paying for it. It's around 3,200 Australian dollars. I think it's expensive, but that's life. And as I've said before, you know, it's an expensive process, but the fact that I can see my family after not having seen them for two years is priceless. So let's begin. One last thing before we start, just so you're aware, the price that I'm paying for this quarantine includes the hotel. It includes three daily meals, including dessert, snacks, water, juices uh, it includes like a change of towels change of linen just basic things that you need to undertake your quarantine for two weeks So first things first, this is where I keep my little mask, change it each day. It's good to just have it there so I don't forget. So into the bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. There's three light settings. So we've got like the, well four, there's the dark, super bright. This one, which is kind of sensual. And then, ooh, I leave this one on um, when I sleep because sometimes I wake up and I have no idea where I am. <laughs> so I'm like, follow the light and you'll be good. So here is my little nice corner. I brought some Jasmine uh, diffuser stuff with me. And this is my little body shop spray. Where is it? Yeah. So I just think it's nice to have these things here. It smells good, scrunchy because you can never have too many scrunchies and everything's pink. Um, this is my sink. <laughs> where I wash my hands, do the dishes, do the laundry, everything. Behind there I hide my uh, laundry liquid, my sponge and there's some dishwashing liquid. So essentials, you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, makeup remover, makeup and I've had this forever. It comes with me everywhere I go but I keep my um, toothbrush and toothpaste in here. Super cute. Um, this stuff Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> this is like a face roller thing. And in all honesty, it kind of looks like a chicken foot and feels like a Hot Wheels car on your face. <laughs> I don't think it really does anything, but I bought it just because it seems like a fun thing to do. And it makes me feel nice. This is the scrubby thing for my feet. So they feel nice and smooth. I have a couple of face masks left. This I bought in case I have a bath, which I don't. So I'll save that till Adelaide. This is the one face moisturizer that I use, Sukin. It's a cruelty-free Australian brand. This is from Lush. I spray this on my face for fun. I don't know if it does anything. And this is from the hotel, but I really like this brand. So I've kept that there. And this is a single bobby pin in case one requires. So yeah, this is my little setup. 
uh, in the drawer. I have all the bits and pieces and toiletries that one might need, but I keep it in there because it's ugly. Oops, that is stuck. Ah oh, yes, behind here, I have some extra towels, cleaning equipment, a hair net thing. What is that called? A shower cap. Yeah, and that is hidden behind here. You get the gist. My towels are up there. Shower. I bought a loofah. I think that's what you call this thing, like a scrubby thingy for the shower. Lovely. Towel. Oh, and here I keep my dressing gown. Um, I'll show you in here all my clothes I have hung up. I just brought a lot of dresses. And then this is kind of, oh well, that's my suitcase and my handbag on top, ironing board. And this is all just stuff, like it's electrical items. There's my little Be Kind bag, there's a disposable camera, just things, random toiletries bits and pieces there's an iron up there this stays closed because i like mirrors now on this side up here there's masks bag um that is my laptop case and here i have all my bathers hanging along bras things like that active wear active wear tops bottoms various tops belt socks undies Dirty clothes, shoes, all hidden away. I love the colors of the bathroom and the pinks. Yee. Okay, now my little kitchen setup. So, most importantly, my bottle of wine, which I got into last night. Kettle, I keep this teacup out because I use it every day. This is kind of like my little snack section. Um, there's some chocolates, more chocolates, which I was given as a gift, which is very thoughtful. My seaweed, nutritional yeast, cranberries, nuts. There's half a muffin in there, I think. Uh, we bake bread. This is kind of some stuff that I haven't like eaten yet. Um, and then this is stuff I brought myself. Oh, and some Nutilex, salt and pepper. Up here, I have my tea towels, which I dry my dishes with. I brought these napkins from home because they're really beautiful and obviously uh, you can see in all the food that I've presented I have them on there. I brought this little chopping board with me, plate, bowl, cup, all matching because um, I just didn't know like what kind of equipment I'd have and this stuff doesn't break, it's easy, it's pink, love that for me. In here all the glassware which I'm so thankful I have, the cutlery, chopsticks and very sharp little knife that I brought with me essential. Um, these are all my coffee sachets that I brought, some tea bags, another tea cup, and the fridge. Um, so a little collection that I was uh, gifted over the years. Um, this is a soy milk, orange juice, these are two spare soy milks, oh sorry that's oat milk, that's soy milk, water, 7-up, tonic, and an open soy milk. And that's some cheese and biscuits. I'm not gonna eat that, but I might use it to lure some birds. <laughs> and this little fruit cup, which I got when I arrived. Oh, that's my fridge. Um, this bag, I brought it with me from home actually. It's from Typo, I think. And I just think it's kind of cool. And it could lay flat in my bag. And inside I am keeping like all the hotel documents um, that I need access sometimes. This is my rubbish bag, which I'm going to take out um, once I have more rubbish. So here lives the remote, my tripod, tripod, is that what it's called? Yes. And an extra adapter, which I don't really need. Moving across, I haven't used any of this yet, but I brought with me origami, cards, string, tape. What is this? I think this is, oh, this is adhesive for the whiteboard. I haven't used this yet either, but it's like a pink pen that you can write on glass with, so that's fun. Here I keep my pajamas. I made the bed again today and it looks kind of bad. <laughs> like I, I just kind of gave up on tucking it all in, but you know, we move on. This is my TV. 
Now here I have, oh you can see what it is, but the sanitizer, lip balm, lollipop, scissors, what is this plug, wool plug thing, my jewelry that I haven't worn since I got here, but I will wear it when I leave. My favorite, favorite, favorite lip balm in the whole wide world. Um, this brand is called Frank, and this is like a, a lip tint, and it's amazing. It's called Cherry Bomb. I found it um, online when I was in Dubai, and it was so good to finally get it again, because I used to always have it in Australia. Anyway, continuing another scrunchie because we love them. Hand moisturizer, both of my headphones, clip, sunnies, glasses, mints, um, drink bottle, whiteboard, which I need to write something on it again. And then here is my little workspace. So I have my iPad, my laptop, more um, diffuser oil, baby pencils, couple of pens, speaker, plant book. I really like this little space so nice and it's really nice at um, night as well when this lamp goes on right so down here these are the two boxes that my flowers came in and they've actually been super useful they're like really strong little boxes and i used it um, as like a laptop prop and to balance my camera this is the fruit i was also given which is so lovely i'm getting through it slowly and I think it's colorful. The boxes are kind of cute. Just adds to the little desk vibe. Oh, under there's my charger. Under there's my HDMI cord. Then, oh, the sun is coming through. Over here, I keep my slippers. I'm charging my portable charger. Skipping rope, resistance band, and that's the bag for my yoga mat. My bedside table. I normally have some water here as well. My spare phone with my Dubai SIM card. And my charger. Here I have two scarves, which I'm just leaving and I use as like a little blanket if I get cold. Hello. And here, my favorite little corner with my flowers. Thank you so much for these flowers. Oh my gosh, they're so stunning. Obsessed. And then we have the beautiful balcony, which you guys know I am obsessed with. I, I just, it's just the best thing ever. My yoga mat stays out here. It also adds like a little greenery. So when I'm back here, you know, it's nice. It's like, not that I have grass, but it's like, I don't know, add some green. And then I have the chairs which stay here unless I move them. But this is this is their home, their little nest. Yeah. So that is my setup. It's around 5 p.m. It's a beautiful day in Brisbane. Hopefully there'll be some live music in the theater soon. The sun is gonna slowly set and you know, although I can't see the sun and I can't see the sunset properly because it's around that corner, all of these buildings reflect the sun and it is just magnificent. Oh, and this is out here at the moment because I was hanging my clothes that I washed. See, oh, I love it so much. And this is really good because it's reflective. So when I'm out here doing my yoga, um, I can see myself if I need to work on like my position or my technique. Oh my gosh, <laughs> those fell over. But yeah, that's me. And around once more. <laughs> my shadow looks funny. I think that's everything. There's also a lot of cool artwork. I presume this is Brisbane. Oh, I always say a D on the end of Brisbane. I'm trying to stop saying Brisbane. Brisbane. There we go. Another mirror. Happy girl. My dinner's gonna be here soon. Lovely. And this TV. I swear, I've turned it off so many times. That's my one complaint, is that the TV keeps turning on, even in the middle of the night, and I can't figure out how to change it. Ah! My brain just computed, like, I'm getting the direct sunlight again just because it's reflecting off that building. 
how nice is that so yeah thank you guys again for all of your support and messages you know i've got a lot of things to keep myself occupied but reading your messages and replying to them is one of my favorite things so thank you um i hope you have a fantastic night morning afternoon evening whatever you're up to wherever you are whatever time it is thank you guys for tuning in again and i will see you soon